80-year-old Houston Astrodome. Jay? Dana, the one thing we have learned about minor league baseball teams is this. You have to be creative if you want to put fans in the stands. People want to go to baseball games, but they also, when it comes to minor leagues, they want to go to a baseball game and see a circus. A few teams this year have even gone as far as having a morning show host on ESPN2 join their team as a pitcher. I know it sounds crazy. Well, the West Michigan Whitecaps have gone one better. This is the Class A affiliate of the Detroit Tigers. They actually brought in an elephant to throw out a first pitch, proving anybody can pitch. Chris Robinson is the catcher who caught the elephant. He's with us now. Chris, where'd the idea come from? Um, you know, to be honest, I, I don't know. I was, I was just uh, getting ready for a game. I knew I had the night off, so I asked our, uh, uh, Bob Wells, our, our guy that does the promotions on the field, I said, you know, Bob, I'll catch the, I'll catch the opening pitches. And he said to me, he says, yeah, well, uh, okay, we got a little guy whose birthday, he says, and then we got an elephant. And so I figured, you know, an elephant might have been a mascot or something. And then two minutes later, this elephant walks out of the center field gate, and we're all kind of looking at our, ourselves saying, is he for real? This elephant's going to throw at the first pitch. So none of us really believed it, I think, until we saw it. She looks like she uh, goes softball there a little under, not underhanded, under snout. I don't know what that is. How'd she do? Yeah. Oh, it was it was great. She the first the first time she did it, it, it flew over my head. But then the second time, I came back and she threw a perfect strike right into my glove. I think to a lot a lot of people's surprise. How fast would you say the ball is coming in there? Um, probably, I would I would think maybe 50, 50, 55 miles per hour. It's on a straight line, so you know there's not there's not an arc to it at all. It's crazy. It, it, you know it's unbelievable. You guys will see it here in a second, but it just you know I put my glove up and it's, it's straight into my glove. Yeah, we, you know what? I want to see it. I want to see it right now. Let's see if she can fire up the old trunk and throw a fastball to you one more time. All right, Chris? Sounds good. All right, so Chris is going to take his place behind home plate or wherever he is standing there. And Laura the elephant is going to try to uh, whip a pitch in there. Let's, let's see what happens. Does she go on cue? Or, uh, oh, okay, they've thrown the ball to her. I bet she goes nuts when they sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game, the seventh. Whoa! Just a bit high with that pitch. <laughs> Can we get one more back to her? There we go. She's a little yeah. wild. She has to work on her control. <laughs> All right. So she moves slowly to the ball. Oh, there we go. Look Perfect. at that. Perfect that is strike. outstanding. I would love to see someone try to hit off the elephant. But uh, job <laughs> well done. I think, is she going to try it again? Her favorite song is Take Me Out to the Ball Game, the part where it buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. She goes nuts over that. One more time? Yeah. All right. More Elizabeth. Yo. Here we Bat go. Her up. I think that's a ball. All right. Weighing in at 8,500 pounds, perhaps the heaviest of all pitchers. And there it is. That's a perfect strike. It took three to get one. But uh, Chris that's Robinson, perfect. job well done. Laura the Elephant, outstanding work. I. I no truth to the rumors that the Tigers are thinking about calling up the elephant to pitch. Chris, <laughs> thanks, uh, and uh, we're not done on cold pizza. Come back and we'll wrap it up right now.